I'm Jim with Stuff Music, and I'm here today to do a demo of the Cory Wong Signature Stratocaster. The Fender Cory Wong Stratocaster, finished here in sapphire blue. The neck is maple, with a satin urethane finish, modern D neck profile, rosewood fingerboard, 10 to 14 inch compound neck radius, 25 and a half inch scale, 22 medium jumbo frets, bone nut, and Fender Deluxe Cast Sealed Locking Short Post Tuners. The body is alder, with a satin lacquer finish, Seymour Duncan Corey Wong Clean Machine Single Coil Pickups in the neck, middle, and bridge positions, single master volume with treble bleed, tone one for the neck, tone two with push-push pot that defaults to position four, five position blade pickup selector switch, and Fender six saddle vintage style synchronized tremolo bridge. Finally, this guitar comes set up with 10 to 46 gauge strings and includes a deluxe molded case from Fender. Get yours today at instuffmusic.com and thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit like, leave a comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Okay, now we're back after the specs on the guitar. Before we begin today, let's take a quick look at the amp settings and how we're recording. I'm going through this reissue deluxe reverb. I have the volume just a bit south of five, the treble between five and six, the bass between four and five, a little bit of reverb coming from the amp into the aux with the 212 twin reverb setting of 57 and a 121 on the cab with a little bit of room mic and then straight into Pro Tools, no sweetening. Everything you heard in the beginning of the video is this, the Corey Wong signature Stratocaster. So how is this Stratocaster? different from your regular run-of-the-mill American Strat. Well, first of all, you have, uh, as I mentioned in the specs, you have locking tuners, uh, you have Corey Wong's signature Seymour Duncan humbuckers, a 10 to 14 compound radius, which is a little different for your run-of-the-mill Fender Strat, usually your nine and a half. And some interesting things on the um, knobs here. So tone one is for the neck, Tone two is for the bridge. Middle doesn't have a tone. And then you have a push-push right here in tone two, which defaults you to position four. Now, in case you're confused, position five is the neck, position one is the bridge. That throws a lot of people off. So position four is the neck and the middle together. Uh, if you know Corey Wong and you're familiar with his playing, he does a lot of that uh, kind of Nile Rodgers-esque funk thing. So you live on either in position four or position two for a lot of those signature sounds. So let's hear the guitar clean then dirty. Here we are in the neck. <coughs> Everything on 10. There's a tone down to about five in the next still. Here's the neck and the middle. As I mentioned in the specs, this guitar is a treble bleed mod, which means when you turn the volume down, it doesn't darken the tone on a standard, uh, the standard wiring for a lot of guitars, when you sync the volume, you start to lose high end. The treble bleed mod prevents that from happening. Here we are in the middle. <clears throat> Thank you. 
See? Nothing. Middle has no tone control. Position two. Middle and the bridge. So you're in two here, right? Nom and four, nom and two. Here is the bridge, wide open. These are very clear uh, pickups. They're not super high gain. Um, it's probably why they're called clean machine. Uh, they got a lot of quack and a lot of sparkle. Uh, which for the type of music Corey Wong is playing, you know, that really gets it done. And they're kind of scoopy. So a lot of times, uh, when a lot of Fender guitars, they'll have um, things like the Texas Special pickups on the Rosewood board strats anyway. And those are kind of, they're very mid-forward. Um, and 60 strats, the pickups in those were generally a little more mid-forward than the 50s ones, but these are definitely kind of scoopy and quacky. Um. All right, so I'm gonna hit this with a little bit of a light gain. Um, using a, I was using a Greer light speed on the, uh, the guitar I was playing in the intro. So here's the Greer, Greer light speed again. And these aren't noiseless pickups, so you have a little bit of a noise floor on these, but um, I got this amp cranked up pretty good, so. You know, the noise floor is typical, I would say, for a single coil pickup. Mids up a little bit. Back to four. Here's the bridge wide open.
right, there you have it. The Fender Corey Wong Signature Stratocaster.